I think it always is helpful to really think about some very generic things. And the first thing was a lesson that I had to learn in a very hard way a few years ago. And this is the single most important thing about writing a successful grant. And I think this is where you guys all have this down pat because you're phase one grantees. Work on something important. Work on something that really, really matters to the world. And I think you guys all have that. But quite frankly, I'll show you why I think I wasn't there. And I think that was one of my really um, personal weaknesses as we went forward. Um, it's easy to fall in love with your little part of science. But in the big picture of things, is this what you want to spend the 30 or 40 years that you get to work on science? Is this what you really want to do? And I think that's where you guys are really ahead of me. Um, one thing that I'd like for you guys to think about, and it sort of ties in, the, in with the previous one, is make sure you believe in what you're doing. This is going to set up years and years of your career. So make sure that you really think that this is something that's critical and that you still believe in. All right, we're going to spend a lot of time as we go through the proposals in thinking about making your case, telling your story. Some of my mentors have said, can you make your reader cry? Well, that's a little bit of exaggeration, but exaggeration also brings out truth, right? That you want to convince your readers that what you are telling them is incredibly important. Now, not only that is it important, but maybe your reviewers, even at this stage, may have a couple hundred incredibly important things, right, that they're looking at. What is it that's unique about your proposal? What is it about what you're doing that um, stands out? How are you uniquely positioned not only to have a critical problem, but to really bring together that right team, that right set of technologies at the right time to be able to address that? Are you really where Mr. Gates or Canada or whoever should invest their limited resources? Okay, so you want to make that case because you believe in what you're doing. One thing that, that can just totally derail you is basic mistakes in grant writing. Follow the format. You know, I, I tell my 11 year old son this, follow directions at school, right? And then I go out and write a grant and I didn't do that myself. Well, that doesn't work. Okay, fill out the forms, get things in on time, all basic stuff. I get these things proofread myself, okay, all the time. I've written God knows how many pages of grants and papers in my career is all you have. And I still make mistakes because we're, we're human beings, right? We're fallible. We'll make mistakes. Don't believe you can get everything right. Don't be embarrassed to send it out. Don't be embarrassed to send your drafts out to people. Get as much feedback as you can because we are smarter than me. One mistake that I see, uh, especially younger people make, is they'll have a, a, a wonderful... Um, uh, goal in, the, in their research, very, very important, no one would argue with. They may even make a very compelling case for why this needs to be addressed and sort of how and sort of the general ideas of what will happen. And then they get to the proposal and it's very, very unclear what they're actually going to do. Provide enough detail so that, w that the reviewer will understand what are you going to do, what resources are available to you? What reagents? Do you have those reagents? Do you have a source, a collaborator for these things? Um, if you've had some successes, make sure that they're in there so that we bring things from the abstract to reality. Critically important, be realistic about what you promise. And then a really critical thing, know your funder. I sort of alluded to that just now. This is critical for any grant writing. This is critical for any paper writing you do. This is critical for you know, you try to get a faculty job, you want to change it, you know, know who you're dealing with.